So um, we recently just did a video on um, photographing the bride mm -hmm. um, on the wedding day, like bridal portraits and getting ready. And we thought we would do the opposite, mm -hmm. you know, the, the groom and the groomsmen, um, both getting ready and groom photographs. Mm -hmm. So um, one of the kind of most um, maybe fun or most kind of joyful parts of the day, other than the reception and, you know, right after the, uh, the new couple is announced and they're able to kiss, is when the guys are able just to take a few minutes and, um, you know, kind of get ready and, and goof around a little bit pre-ceremony. I really love being around that. It's a lot of fun. Um, you start to learn a lot about the the groom and his um, his groomsmen and their personalities, um, and uh, and taking photos of them when they're together and having fun is, is a really fun no, experience. No, with for no me. girls around. No girls around. <laughs> Cigars, scotch, all that kind of stuff is fun too. Probably rude jokes too. <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, so uh, f when you're photographing. You know, guys getting ready and, 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 you know, getting dressed. I always like to remember to do a few things and, and recommend that the grooms do a few things for us as well. One is to put away the clutter. You know, when you're getting dressed, it's easy just to kind of throw, you know, socks and shirts kind of all over the place. Hangers, yeah. Hangers, you know, um, the, the plastic bags that, like, your, uh, your, your pocket squares mm -hmm. and your socks mm -hmm. come in from the um, suit rental place. It's easy just to kind of throw that stuff off to the side just because it's easy you want to get rid of it but it really doesn't make for a good photo to have a whole bunch of shit hanging around in the background True that. so um, I, I always would like to you know take a double you know, double glance and look around um, you know before we start photographing to get rid of all that extraneous stuff um, the second thing to do or, or that I like to recommend is um, that when you're actually getting photographed, maybe buttoning your jacket or you know, doing your bow tie or something like that, is to just work a little slower than you normally would. Um, that gives you, you know, the ability to kind of pose and get really nice styled shots of, of you getting ready. And those are the kind of shots that your girls love to have. So, um, you know, if you rush through that, and then I'm gonna have to ask you to untie your tie again <laughs> and be really awkward about it and you know it's gonna seem forced and staged but if you kind of notice that your photographer is taking a nice candid photograph um, of you you know doing your tie or your you know um, cuff links or something like that just you know kind of slow down a little bit take a little bit extra time um, and give us some um, kind of breathing room when we're photographing that now, when it comes to photographing all the guys together, you know, kind of the, the whole, you know, groomsmen party, mm -hmm. um, I always like to bring out the personality of the group. So, um, you know, don't be shy to, to kind of let yourself be yourself around your groomsmen. If you have inside jokes, let them fly, right? You know, it's okay to kind of be a little bit goofy because, um, you know, these, these photographs are meant to capture you and your personality as, as you kind of naturally are w with one another. Mm -hmm. So I think that with those three things, it's um, it's a it's a pretty you know, good kind of starting point when you're thinking about um, photographing a groom, and if you are a groom getting photographed, some things to kind of keep in mind as well. Yeah, that's good. I I learned so much. I don't really photograph the guys. I usually am with the girls. So I learned so much about this today. It's good. Cheers.